Hello, I'm here with another two card tarot reading for you today. And I'm using my Light Sears tarot deck. Again, this is another pack from Chris Ann, and they're equally as beautiful as yesterday's cards. So let's see what is in store for us today. Do we think another major arcana card's going to come out? Let's see. Yes, it has. <laughs> Brilliant. And what's more, it's the same card as yesterday. We had the moon, didn't we, yesterday? And obviously we had the full moon at the start of the week. Um, so it really is quite a sort of long going, ongoing saga, isn't it? This one with the moon. But the lovely thing about having different tarot packs is you can get a different spin on them. Now, yesterday, if you saw yesterday's, we had the moon accompanied with strength. We've now got the two of cups, which is a lovely, lovely card. But I'm going to just look at this moon because... As I say, different tarot packs give us different impressions and pictures. So, um, and when cards do come out over and over again, it is drawing our attention to maybe we didn't see something before. Okay, so this card, take me get a closer look. This card is actually featured in water, and the lady has. It almost looks like she's fallen into the water, but she doesn't seem to be struggling. And if you can see the full moon here, where the, then you've got the two hounds or wolves, I think they're probably wolves howling at the moon, but the light is trickling onto her and it's almost like she's touching. Because she's under the water, she can almost see the beams of light on her and she doesn't seem that worried to be just kind of submerged in that water. It doesn't look like she's in any kind of threat. All right, and I do feel like that white light is a sort of protective light that's shining down on her. I almost want to say this is making her see things from a completely different point of view. So sometimes um, this moon card can be associated with confusion. And if we do have to sit in that kind of confused, uncertain state for a few um, days as it, it's kind of suggesting that it is like looking for a way forward sometimes it is about turning things on their head and seeing things from a different point of view or switching off completely and allowing rather than trying to think yourself through a situation then allowing um, the, the light and the inspiration to just come in its own time I feel like the energy of this card is very slow and I feel that it's necessary to take our time. This is not something that's going to um, be like an immediate source of inspiration, like perhaps you would expect with like the Ace of Swords or the Ace of Wands. This is feeling our way through, but again, surrendering to the process. Some of us don't like doing that. Some of us don't have time <laughs> and we want to know exactly what's going on. Um but yeah, so I, I feel that, there, you know, if you are somebody that's quite impatient, you might almost be, not this Poppy, she's quite impatient. <laughs> you might almost be quite um, annoyed to see the moon card again, as if to say, well, oh, you know, we've had the full moon energy and it's Thursday now and I still haven't got any further forward. So give yourself a little bit of space, give yourself a little bit of time and all will be revealed. Now, what I do love about this is the Two of Cups. I'm almost seeing that these two hands are, are, are kind of near this lady to sort of give her a bit of a helping hand. Um, I do love this card. I do love the Two of Cups card. Um, I, I chose it in a reading recently for somebody. And, um, the, you know, the idea of it is just such a lovely, equal, kind, loving relationship. Um we spoke earlier in the week about the idea of trusting the universe. Um, and I think a couple of times throughout this last week, I've said about the universe having your back. I really do feel like that's an important message to stay with for the week um, and perhaps going forward into the weekend as well. Um, I like the idea of these connections. I don't feel like these are earthly connections although you may see this card you might be about to go on a date and see the two of cups card and be completely um excited or inspired by it but i feel that this is the idea of us working in unison with our soul and allowing what comes through to just come through 
Can you see the colours are being filtered, even though both hands have got a variety of colours coming out of them, they're almost being filtered. And I kind of feel like that's about um, almost like, you know, an elixir of giving you exactly what you need and taking away what you don't. I feel like it, it's some sort of working as a filter. Um, and I do feel that that's tying in, in with this moon energy of really, really encouraging you to let go of what doesn't serve you and take what you need for your next part of your journey. So I, I kind of feel like you're being put in a situation, albeit it might even be an uncomfortable one, or you might just be really excited and inspired by the situation that you're in. But I really feel like the universe is feeding our souls at this moment and really um, encouraging us to... Um, to sort of drink in that lovely, lovely, supportive, um, kind energy that's coming in. Okay, so I've said before, and obviously if you've been watching the last few readings, you will know that pretty much the last week or so, we've had major arcana cards come in, one, sometimes two. I really do feel, and I just want to stress this point again, that the universe is playing a massive part at the moment in putting us where we need to be and if that place where you need to be is kind of I want to say even incapacitated you know even if you're not feeling like you're able to move on or make decisions at the moment that's okay because it's almost I almost feel like we're all chess pieces and we're all being put in the right position for the, for the kind of big push so um don't forget, over the next few weeks, we've got Venus retrograde coming up, so it might feel that things are slowing down. I do feel like that's heart-centred um, heart energy that, that we would be working with at that point. And cancer season can be um, frustratingly slow for some people. Obviously, the star sign cancer, and we're in cancer season at the moment, is ruled by the moon. So maybe that's another reason why just over these next couple of weeks while we move through cancer season, um, we just need to be aware and work with that kind of season and energies and all that's offered to us. Um, because it, it can be like a nurturing energy, um, almost to the point of overprotectiveness and keeping you keeping you somewhere um, like an overprotective mum. But don't forget, it's only another few weeks and we've got Leo season. So there'll be probably, I would imagine, a big um, roar when Leo season starts um, in the sort of mid to end of July. So, but we've got a couple of weeks to work with the cancer season. So maybe we'll see the moon card even more over the next few days. Please do join me and find out. Tomorrow I'm doing spirit animal cards. I always do them on a Friday. It's a lovely way to start the weekend, or the start of the weekend. Um, so please do join me then. If you'd like to subscribe or like this, please do, or leave me a comment. I always reply and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, have a lovely day. Bye for now.